there's nothing better than something you've made or you know who's made the bat, like handcrafted, right? That's what we set out to do, to be different, to be a boutique, handcrafted bat shop that's different. I always wanted to make the very best product. So when somebody got a bat from Titan Bats, they were like, man, this is something amazing. This is something special. It's not something you can go buy in a store. It's, it's something handcrafted for that certain player. About eight years ago, I was in my grandfather's wood shop. He was a master wood craftsman. And this guy could make anything. He, he built his own house. He built cabinets for people, dining room tables. And I was kind of his assistant, is what he always called me, his, his helper in the shop my whole life. One day we were out there, and I saw this old blue uh, machine underneath some boxes. I asked him what it was. He said, that's a 1928 Sears and Roebuck wood lathe. And I'm like, well, I've never used that before. Let's, let's, let's play with it. I wanted to really make my son something special, just for you know, for fun. It was a little gift. It was, it was a little miniature baseball bat. So I sat there and I fiddled with that thing for hours, trying to get it to look right. I gave it to my son. It looked more like a, a billy club versus a baseball bat, you know. But he thought it was pretty cool. So he went around and started showing all his buddies. Uh, he played baseball with, and they knew what it was. They thought it was neat, and they were like, can you make me a red one, can you make me a blue one, can you make me a brown one, whatever, and I'm like, yeah, I can make you some. It took me a little bit of time, but I figured out how to hand carve a good bat. It all starts with the wood. All of our wood is hand split, Bill. It's, it's the best of the best. I bring the wood in here. I regrade it to make sure that the grain is straight as I believe it's true. I cut the bat out on either one of our lathes. Then I start dialing in with a micrometer, miking it, sanding it to get exactly perfect to the player's specifications. Removal of the ends. Hand sand all those. And then it comes to the finishing time where we add the ink dot, do all the clear coat and paint, the logos, the engraving, and it's shipped out. The first year we made probably about three or 400 bats. Now we're up to like three to 4,000 bats. And that's just me and Todd grinding. You know, we both work 40 plus hours a week plus doing this. We want to be making 10,000 to 15,000 bats a year. And we're now in a facility to have the machines to do it. And our goal is to get to you know, to really turn this up and, and I think Major League will be the next level for us. I've always been in the medical device world, sales, sales management, I have over 20 years experience in sales and you know, I was looking for an opportunity to invest in my own company, to start a company. And it just so happens that my, my mother, she was still bringing me newspapers from Logansport. I grew up here, and in that newspaper was Trampus Young, youth pastor making baseball bats. So I uh, was very intrigued. I knew Trampus. I grew up with his brothers playing sports and, and knew of Trampus since I was very little. My first thought was, man, that's so cool. I want to help him out. I guess the stars were kind of aligned to get Todd back in my life and uh, reconnect us with our families. And I started making bats for him, hand carving them for some guys at ISU, and I couldn't keep up because he was he was really pushing the product. That's where I came into the picture. I, I came in. I said, "We we need to turn this into something. This is the business opportunity I've been looking for." And I saw his passion for making bats. I didn't want to make the bats, but he was so passionate about it. I said, "This is somebody I want to invest in." My whole goal in Trampus as well was that we spent the first four years making sure that our product quality was equivalent or better than Louisville Slugger. So we really didn't put our bats out there for, for four, four and a half years uh, until we got it right, until we perfected it and tested in the Collegiate Wood Bat Leagues and some of the local travel teams. We, then we started to ramp it up. Eight years later, we're in this wonderful new facility out of my garage, a lot of new clients. Just been, it's been a huge blessing.